And sometimes it's hard to get out the door mm -hmm. without losing your soul. Hi guys, my name is Ken Yuzinski and this is Janelle Yuzinski. Today we're going to talk about setting the standard. Janelle, can you intro this? Sure. So basically, um, the thought arose, uh, if we want our kids to be holy, we need to model it. And not just model it, but being authentically um, trying to grow in holiness through our actions and what we do. Yeah, because we can't expect our children to do something that, that we're not willing to do. Mm -hmm. That's right. So whether that is, you know, modeling a prayer time or modeling going to confession regularly, attending mass and, and even our disposition in mass, are we very distracted? Are we reverent when we enter into the church? Are we talking or chit chatting with our neighbor? Um, you know, making that which is holy, giving it special attention. A three simple virtues come to my mind. Thank you, sorry, please. Mm -hmm. The very basic things that we start with our kids to mm -hmm. say thank you, to say sorry, and to say please, and not to act entitled. And so I, I feel like if we want to see those characteristics, those virtues growing in children's lives, they need to see that in ours. And when I was mm -hmm. thinking about doing this video, one particular moment came to my mind because when our kids fight, we want them to say sorry to each other. Mm -hmm. And that's our expectation. However, sometimes when it comes to when we mess up, do the kids see us saying sorry either to each other or apologizing to them? So one particular moment comes to my mind when we're trying to get out the door for Mass. And sometimes it's hard to get out the door mm -hmm. without losing your soul. <laughs> because there's just a lot of rushing. We got up late, someone's got to go to the bathroom, there's a dirty diaper. And I have, I can get impatient. That's something I need to work on. And I got one time really impatient with our daughter, Christina. And I was angry. And I was angry the whole way we're driving to the church. And Janelle, I think you tried really hard to pull me out of that. And you're asking questions. And I just wanted to be miserable for a little while by myself <laughs> while we're driving the past. And it was silly. I was just acting really silly and but i just couldn't pull myself out of it and there we are we're sitting in mass i'm still angry the liturgy is happening and and i just thought like i just i can't live like this i, I have to apologize so christina was at the end of the pew and i, I pulled her over and i just said you know daddy i was very impatient this morning and i ask your forgiveness will you forgive me and she turns to me and, she, and says i forgive you daddy and I, that was a blessing for me to hear those words. I needed to say that to her. It was good for us, but it's also good for her to see me go to her and, and say, uh, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes and I need your forgiveness. And I hope that one day she, she'll be able to do that on her own accord. And if I haven't modeled that to her, how in the world is she going to do that to other people? Mm -hmm. I feel like we do a lot of that in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Say I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, yes. So a couple other things is we can't expect them to do things that we aren't willing to do. So, um, for example, this is one thing that I struggle with is mindlessly kind of eating when I'm prep prepping food, prepping supper, prepping a snack. And then the kids come around and they're like, Mom, can I have a snack? Or mom, can I have some? And I'll be like, no, you have to wait till supper time. Because it'll spoil your appetite. Because it'll spoil yeah. your appetite. And what am I doing? Oh, I'm just like mun munching away here. But so I just realized, like, how can I expect them to have to wait, to be patient when I'm not willing to do that myself? That's just one little example of it. But, mm. mm -hmm. Another example, maybe with for the big picture. Um, what kind of guy do I want my daughters to marry? Something I think about that. I, I I want them to marry someone who's virtuous, who's prayerful, who loves the faith, who demonstrate, who who is kind to them, who's patient with them. And I think if I am not displaying those characteristics towards you, they will not look for that in their future spouse. Mm -hmm. And so that's that. There's a standard there that I am also becoming more and more aware of. They will start to thirst for those characteristics in men down the road. 
in what they see in me as their father. True. Very true. So my friends, if you're parents, set the standard for your children. Let them see you pray. Let them see you say, I'm sorry. Hear those words, thank you. Hear those words, uh, please. Uh, model those virtues for your children and they will, they will rise to the occasion if they see it in you. Uh, really thank you for watching and have a great day.